If you haven't seen us before, we are the Lego Pop Collectors. My name's Jennifer and I usually have my partner Rachel with me as well, but unfortunately she is sick. So I will be doing this video by myself. Uh, we collect Legos and Funko Pops, hence the name Lego Pop Collectors. So on today's video, I have some really exciting unboxing for you guys that I've been talking about for so long now. We wanted to first apologize for not doing our Lego video that we had planned, which you can probably see in the background. We did finish our Jurassic Park Lego. We want to review it for you all. But like I said, Rachel got sick, so unfortunately we weren't able to record the video together yet. So we're going to do that for you guys soon. I know it's late because the set's been out for a while now, but we still want to show you. We want to show you how much we love building it together. So we will show it to you, I promise. And don't worry, Rachel is getting better because she's okay. We're just waiting to record together until she feels like 100%. But do I have a story for you guys. So you can kind of guess from the bag where we're going Funko shopping and why we're going Funko shopping there. So our last video with Funkos is we had a, and Lego, we had a full video for you all showing what pre-order was. And you can check out that video as well linked. We decided to do a big pre-order for some Jurassic Funkos that were coming out from Target. And unfortunately, like planned, as always, it happens to me, Target canceled it canceled everything and it sucked and I knew that would happen but it's okay because I've spent the entire week this week going to Target every single day. So if you follow me on TikTok for my Jurassic Talk you will see my journey with that. It has been a very hard journey and disappointing especially because I've had a lot going on in life right now emotionally physically like a lot of things going on. So it's kind of been hard, but it's been fun to be able to go and distract myself with this hunt. It's also been crazy, but every day I find something and something's better. So the nice thing is I'm almost done finding the Target exclusives and then I could just go about my day and find the rest of my Jurassic Funkos elsewhere. The ones that are Target exclusives, luckily I found one of them already, which I'm going to show you. And then some of the movie moments is the hard thing because they have four movie moments and a Mr. DNA. So I'm going to have to keep going back until I find all the ones I want, which has been frustrating. And then along the way of my journey, I also found some regular Funko Pops that are really exciting that I'm excited to open and add to the collection. But first up, I want to show you guys something cool that I found. So I mentioned a really long time ago that when they released their movie moments for Jurassic, they released some other fun merchandise as well. And they did a bag, which I ended up not getting the bag, but my Target does have it. It's really cute. And they have some pins, which I'm still looking for. They had a big pin, which I decided not to get because I don't really know how to display the big pins in my collection. They're kind of really heavy and I don't never wear them. And they had the glasses, which I did end up getting. They are so cool. I have two of them, one with the Velociraptor, one with the Dilphosaurus. It is literally the coolest thing. It's like a nice little big cup. So I'm excited. I found this on my second day of Funko hunting. And I had to go 30 minutes from my house to a new Target. Usually I've been going to two Targets near me, which I don't have a car. So a lot of times I'm taking the bus or I have just suffered and I'm like, you know what, I'll take an Uber because I really want to commit to this. And this one, we went. I went 30 minutes away to Target that's not near me at all and it was so freaking worth it. So the first Funko Pop I found, with which was the 30 minute away Target, finally I found one of the movie moments. I found the Tim movie moment, which I've seen people all over my feed find it in stores literally days before me. This Target had one of them and it was hidden behind a bunch of other ones, which always check behind Funko Pops because Target hides them. And I was really excited to finally find this. This one I'm really excited though to have. It's such a great detailing. It has such cool coloring on the box itself. I mean, the whole back of the box has like the dinosaurs with red. I think it looks like very terrifying and very fun. It definitely brings you back to the original Jurassic Park. So I love the packaging on this because you can look at these packagings and the Jurassic World packaging and it feels like two different franchises, which I mean, they are, but it brings you back to those worlds and those moments. And I love that it is my first Funko Pop with Tim. And it's so cool to see the Velociraptors in their moment of trying to attack as well. The detail even on Tim's cheeks of the dirt and the band-aid is, is amazing. I love all the dishes. I love how you can like turn it around and see the full scene. I absolutely love the colors. It just really feels like I am taking this picture out of the movie, which I know that's the point of it, but I am 
just so happy and so glad I bought this because of how much Jurassic Park means to me and how much I love this movie and especially love these characters. So after I found that right away, I was like, I'm going back to my regular Target. I was like, maybe my regular Target got more stuff today because if this one got it, you never know. And I was really excited to find the first Pop Funko Pop for the Jurassic World collection that's coming out. So, Cause this is the Target exclusive. I Atrociraptor, which I'm probably saying that wrong. The ghost figure. I don't know what's the difference between this one and the other white one that came out because this exists outside of the Target exclusive. So I'm, I'm not really sure, but I guess I will find out when I open it. I am really excited because this will be the first dino of the Jurassic World Dominion franchise for me. So as you can see on the back, this is the rest of the collection that I need to get. The only thing I will not be getting is the, gig the Giga in a large size because I do not know where I put it. That's another fun thing about the packaging is on the side, when you look from it from the sideways, you see like a little bit of their eyes looking at you, which is like low-key kind of scary. And also Jurassic World had just released online the dino tracker. So you can actually go and find where the dinos are in the world right now for live camera footage to get you in prep for the movie. So it's like making it real world situations and I love it. Wow, for the ghost, I really like it. I think it's fun, I think it's scary. I love the coloration on it. The eyes are definitely scary. The hands as well. It's very fun to have this kind of dinosaur in my collection. So I'm very excited because I have no idea what you are and I guess I will find out what you are in the movie, but you are definitely a star and that's for sure. Moving on from the Jurassic topic, why I was also in the mid search of doing this hard, crazy task at Target, which you guys will see the rest of it when it comes. I also was able to find Kate Bishop at Target, which was so surprising because Target has the Hawkeye series, but has them like the Target exclusives right now. So it has them like in their Christmas sweaters, which those are really cute, but I didn't think I would find Kate with Lucky, which is the one I, the only one I wanted out of the entire series. Cause as you know, I am doing a phase four setting and I'm doing my favorite things from phase four. And I love the Hawkeye show and Kate Bishop is my favorite character. And I loved her with the dog. So it's really cool that they have this because the detailing on this is amazing, especially in her suit and with Lucky. And the box itself is gorgeous. Like the colors, it really feels like you're in the show. And it might be my favorite box they have for Phase 4 so far, other than the What If ones that are like the Galaxy. And then lastly, before I started going to Target, I had gone to Book Off just for fun. Because you know, I always see a bunch of stuff. And I was able to find Rocket in his Endgame suit which you all know I have my Endgame collection that I'm finishing. So as you can see at the back of the box, I only need to get Captain America, I need to get Black Widow, and then I need to get Hawkeye, War Machine, and Captain Marvel, and also get Thanos. So obviously, and Tony Stark. He is originally a Walmart exclusive, and that's why I decided to go with him, because they had a Tony Stark there, but the only reason I didn't wanna get both was just because of budget, and I'd rather have gotten him Rocket because it's my first Rocket Pop other than the holiday one, which you've seen in my Christmas tree that I showed on my TikTok and my Instagram. But this is my first Rocket regular and I think it's really cool because I haven't seen him yet and he was only $15. So I felt like it was a great price and just a great way to get out the way and get it right away. I love the detailing on his side. I love how he, you can see the kind of the outfit more. And I love his toes. I love his eyes. He's not really too scary because I feel like the older ones are a little scary for him. And I just love the guns and everything. I, I think it's great. Rocket's my favorite guardian and my favorite, actually one of my favorite characters. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm going to continue my Jurassic hunt. I will continue at Target to so follow along on my TikTok to see that journey. I will also start going to the other stores to start get the rest of them. If not, I will probably just pre-order them again from a website I trust this time. We will be hitting you up all soon with our Lego videos, I promise. Once Rachel is fully better, we will record the rest of them and post them for you. Thank you all for going along on this journey with us. If you like this content and more, go ahead and like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Let us know how we're doing in the comments too. Let us know what you want to see more. But thank you all for watching and we appreciate all your love and support and we hope you have a great day. Bye!